Hello and welcome to my channel. And today I want to uh, talk about why you should get A7R2 in 2019. This is A7R2 I just got uh, just a few days ago and uh, I'm loving it. I love using it. And as a hobbyist, I think this is the best deal right now for you. Um, just show you the price. So this camera, when it first came out, it was over three thousand dollars and now you can get it at half the price and that is incredible I'm gonna show you here a seminar 2 full frame thousand five hundred ninety eight dollars that is crazy for a brand new camera that's cr crazy cheap for a camera like this 42 megapixel you can shoot 4k it has in-body stabilization it just satisfies all the needs for a hobbyist if you are a casual shooter and you want up your game, shoot more megapixel pictures and improve your image quality and uh, make your photos look more pro, it's definitely definitely the way to go. And look at the price here. You can even find it a used one for only twelve hundred dollars. That is just insane. That is almost uh, thirty percent, thirty-three percent of the price original original price three years ago so yeah I, I think this is the best deal you can get uh, if you're a Sony shooter you if you want to shoot full frame an awesome big big megapixel picture and you can shoot 4k with image stabilization these are the three most important thing for me as a hobbyist as a casual shooter it's just three years ago it was the the most badass Sony full frame camera there is on the market and it, it has been on the DxO mark uh, the camera sensor sensor rating number one spot for a very long time and it's the dream camera for me for many people uh, and right now you can get it at half price of the original price so it's, I think it's a really good deal Sony is gonna release the a7s3 and a7 7000 this year so um, they are not direct competition to this camera so um, the price will not drop too much in this year so I think it's uh, very good to get into this camera uh, at the beginning of this year already uh, if a 7 R4 comes out then the price will drop further so I think it's uh, um, there's no need to wait for the new release that's that's just my opinion so this is what I would recommend to you if you shoot photo and video if you're a hybrid shooter uh, if you are mainly a video shooter I would suggest you to uh, get the a6500 because it shoots even better uh, video and it also shoots decent photo is on the a6500 of course um, also you can get a lens for cheaper price because uh, APS-C crop sensor crop lens is cheaper than full frame lenses and you can get third party lenses like a Sigma you can get very wonderful lenses like a Sigma 16 or Sigma 30 millimeter it's a really wonderful lens for uh, video and you have image stabilization in the A6500 I have a A6300 right now I'm shooting in my hand right now uh, but I would love to uh, the, the only problem for me is that it doesn't have image stabilization but a6500 is now also very cheap now I'm gonna show you the price all right so body only it is only 1200 euro uh, dollars so this is a really good good price but I would say that it's actually pretty close to 1500 uh, at this price point I would rather to choose full frame the a7r2 um, but if you can find a cheaper deal under uh, $1,000, I would definitely go for a6500 if you're a video shooter mainly and you don't care about, about photos, then go for a6500. That's my recommendation. In the end, I would uh, recommend anyone who's interested in Sony cameras, if you have the budget, to go for the a7R2 right now. It is really good price and if you can wait, of course, you can wait even longer to uh, wait for new cameras, a new generation come out and they will drop further in price 
and I assume it's still gonna be very very good very uh, competitive in terms of the features in uh, in one or two years even uh, when compared to other choices in one or two years